Hello! In this video, I will show you how to set up a Rabi wallet as extension on your browser. I will be using a Google Chrome for that. So let's start by entering Rabi's website, which is rabi.io. The website is pretty straightforward, as we just need to click the download button. As you can see, we are redirected to Chrome Web Store, so we simply add a Rabi wallet extension to our browser. Now after successful installation, we get a pop-up, so we can click on Rabi's icon and start our setup. Now we need to click the next button and get started as the second one. So here we have a menu in which we need to choose the correct option. Because we will be starting from scratch, we need to create a wallet with a new seed phrase. So let's click this button. Okay, now we need to set the password for our wallet. After this, we will be greeted with the seed phrase information page. Keep in mind that this seed phrase need to be securely stored because it is basically the full access to your wallet and everything you have stored there. So if you are ready, click the show seed phrase button. Now you can see it and copy a seed phrase of your wallet. Keep in mind to store it safely. And once you have done it, click I have saved the phrase. Here you can add the wallets connected with the seed phrase you want. Once the address is added, you see a green notification, so you can be sure that everything is correct. You can also check the list of addresses you have added to your Rabi extension. After you have finished everything, just click Done. Now if you use MetaMask in same browser as Rabi, you have to prioritize Rabi Wallet just clicking this flip button. This will mean that Rabi is your main wallet to use with a Web3 page you're using. If you want to use MetaMask as your main wallet, you can just click the same button to flip back the priority to MetaMask. Okay, now let's say you want to import your addresses that are not added to your Rabi wallet. So in extension, we need to click the address list button here. Then click add new address. Now we have option to import from seed phrase or private key. Because we have a 12 word phrase, we go with the first option. Here we just paste it. And if everything is correct, we see a green notification. Let's click Confirm to move forward. This page is same as before, so we just choose which addresses we want to use in our extension. And that's all. Everything is set up for you to use your Rabi wallet. So, that's the end of this video. Now if you have found the content helpful, don't forget to give a like and subscribe to our channel for more content like this.